Hi, and welcome to episode 10 of the Evil Empire. It's double digit day. So, I feel like uh, it's um, been only a few days since I started this series, but uh, we've already been through quite something. And today we're going to see if Hoover is finally willing to give Anya some fresh leg to stand on. And uh, we're going to see what kind of fun we're going to have with Armadillo. And um, as soon as Freeman finds some time to install some beds in here, we're also going to uh, move the um, move the prison colony into this area here. So we have quite some things on the schedule for today. So let's see what we can do and finish. Um, I've lost a few um, prisoners during this and the last episode, but uh, I don't mind. The, um, the strain of the human resources projects were pretty high and uh, they they brought us almost 3,000 units of um, steel to work with. So I feel like I, um, I'm fine. So uh, we're also going to do some uh, apparel burning um, job here and only go for... Um, Allowing tainted and biocoded apparel, so we just uh, remove everything in there. The uh, um, tainted things have to go out of our um, out of our for out of our colony. Look at that! It's finally time to put some uh, order and some well, some some tidiness into Alpha One. That's the word I was looking for. So, uh, but why is there nothing allow tainted apparel? Yeah. Allow, oh, yeah, of course, I need to allow the non bio coded apparel, obviously, too, or there's nothing we can uh, cremate there. So, it's uh, going to take some time, but um, it's all small items, and I think we're going to be able to get through these uh, jobs quite quickly. So. That's a good uh, way to redeem yourself, Recoil. After being such a uh, <laughs> eccentric person, he tried to uh, get, take the uh, best clothing we, we tailored, tried to steal the Aerofleet par uh, for Parka from Anya, and uh, yeah, he's been a little bit. Uh, there he's uh, unhappy because uh, we harvest other people's organs as if that would be something weird I mean Hoover is basically just here to uh, serve us with fine things of made of himself that's uh, nothing to uh, nothing to uh, be shocked about but well as soon as recoil has some uh, a few um, prosthetics installed I'm pretty sure he's going to rethink his criticism <laughs> and uh, be happy just like the others. At least that's uh, the long-term plan of this colony to just uh, um, replace the shock with happiness about transhumanistic uh, um, benefits and th psychopaths. Well, they don't care. Uh, they don't care, okay? We just don't need to add anything apart from they don't care, so. That's why I like them, because they don't care. And um, I'm going to um, install those graves for the morbid um, meditation. Today I want, to, I want to keep it in my mind. So Recoil, do you think you've deserved that beer? I don't think so. Cremate the rest of that apparel, my friend, and then we can talk about the beer. Okay? I think that's a fair and square um, decision here. So Freeman is, uh, is she finally done with the uh, underground conduits? Oh, not yet. These things are just uh, taking forever to be done. That's uh, the major problem with that. But it's necessary, you know, it's just necessary. All right, so does that mean we're, uh, we're having no more tainted clothing? What's with the fluff and leather pants? Why are they not getting cremated? So, um, utility. Well, definitely don't want to um, burn anything of that. 
So I don't really see any reason why the uh, pair of fluff and leather pants and uh, this uh, tribal wear gets spared. These are both tainted items. What? <laughs> okay. Tribal wear is allowed. Bio it's, uh, there's uh, not really a reason uh, perceptible why this is not possible. It should be possible. <laughs> Well, whatever. It's um, it's a lot more tidy than it was before, and uh, it's uh, for me quite okay. So um, one day Brit might be uh, researching something. That would be awesome, I'd, I'd say. All right, Anya is uh, taking forever for her meditations as well. That's a little bit sad. So, um, Armadillo, I want you to craft as soon as you're uh, back on your feet. And Hoover, how's the leg? Oh, still healing. I'm waiting. You can't harvest the leg if it's uh, broken. So, we have to wait until it's fixed. Alrighty. I'm going to install some storage furniture in here. Um, or first food basket. I'm going to construct these out of tin. I uh, stick with the motto that uh, items made out of that that the tin is just a metal which is uh, spawning too much in that mod, but I don't care. It's okay for me. I just use tin for decorative uh, purposes, and uh, well. I'm quite tempted to uh, tune down um, Brit's jobs and uh, Anya's jobs just for one day. <laughs> she's going to smash things because she's hungry. Oh, these people feel so... Uh, they feel so... incapable of uh, taking care of themselves. I don't know how many tantrums we had in here. Let's uh, check it out. So, mental breakdowns, 14. <laughs> Quite the number. And uh, 6 on Brit. She's uh, way more stable than Anya. And 11 on Freeman. So, Anya is uh, definitely leading the records here. And, uh, well, Recoil is uh, still on the last rank, but uh, doesn't really uh, count because he's the newest of these. So the Colbo Treaty people come with more human resources, and uh, oh boy, do they come with a lot of human resources this time? All right, quite. Uh, I consider myself quite uh, lucky to have um, my enemies invading yet again on slurry peeds. That's so awesome because technically slurry peeds are are OP as uh, as I don't know what, but. Um, Apart from that, because they're so slow, my enemies can be kited um, every time when they attack. Like half of their squad is never reaching my uh, peeps, because uh, they're uh, they're just getting kited away. <laughs> it's uh, funny to me. All right, but the, these people are savages, so we don't mind. All right, just uh, trying to take out a few people um, before we uh, get close. There we go. Good shot on Stink Bug. Let's see if I can hit a few more. Um, I personally am a big fan of uh, dealing damage widespread onto my um, on, in this uh, preemptive um, fire face because uh, you know Stink Bug is uh, pretty much out of the combat. But the more uh, of their people I can severely wound, the easier it will be once they start attacking. I don't know why they're uh, not attacking. It's just one woman with a rifle uh, snipering these guys down. So, uh, yeah, we, we did a lot of damage to them. So, pretty much everybody on their uh, feet. Well, not everybody yet, but uh, a lot of these uh, people who are just uh, walking around here already uh, wounded and bleeding. There goes another one. So... 
is uh, basically sniper uh, tactics. But uh, if they allow me to do so, I don't mind. There we go. So half that squad is already severely wounded. They're, uh, they should be attacking soon. I'm pretty surprised that Freeman didn't uh, kill a single person yet, but uh, I don't care. Um, these guys are already severely wounded. Wow! Or, uh... <gasps> Gosh, I never had this before, ever. So, uh... I don't know, are you guys bugged? <laughs> if I uh, count correctly, there's only one person on their uh, squad not being uh, wounded right now. Apart from the uh, mounted people. So, uh... Anya is getting is, is starving, so uh, I'm just uh, I'm just uh, undrafting people to uh, to let them consume some meals, and uh, um, all right, I want. Uh, I want her to mount Agnes because Mac Agnes was about to go into a very, very bad direction. So, uh, that would have been quite dangerous. So, I'll let the uh, these fools just uh, bleed here and see if they even start attacking. Wow, Freeman really took her toll on these people. So, uh, alright, they're starting their attack now. I'm going to uh, bring Brit for sure. Um, this mount recoil is also uh, in a pretty good uh, condition. And uh, Anya, are you fed by now? Awesome. All right. So uh, the situation is not harmless at all, but uh, we're we're st we're starting out quite good here. So uh, we're now releasing the animals and uh, I'm just uh, going to kite away now and uh, there we go oh well not yet there's still a guy named wolf needs to be taken care of All right. so uh, going to pick Brit and recoil now and uh, let them just uh, walk a, a bit longer there we go so you know my motto the best fight is uh, no fight at all, which means to me that uh, only animals uh, get wounded, not colonists. Only wounds on people who are uh, not having uh, a uh, work duty in your colony, you know. So keep aiming for those fools who are uh, unmounted, because they are way easier to kill. Alright, Agnes is uh, hopefully fine. Oh well, tons of wounds here. So, we're going to uh, see if we can uh, bring a few of these people down. So, they destroyed one of my doors! Oh man. If anybody uh, gets out of here alive, I'm going to demand reparations. Alright. So I can uh, undraft Brit here. We don't really need her anymore. I just want to check if I can uh, dismount somebody and capture him or her. There we go. But uh, obviously we're just uh, good at killing people today. That's fine with me too. Okay. So the Human Resources Department uh, has a few new uh, units to pro process. Awesome. So, uh, if you want to support this work and if you like the the uh, series and RimWorld in general, um, drop me a little subscription down there. It uh, helps a ton. You wouldn't uh, think how much it helps and uh, you'd make me super happy. And if you want to keep the notifications, turn on that bell. If not, just make me happy. And if you don't want to do all that, just keep watching, best of all. So, let's uh, ignore the advertisement. You have to do advertisement if you're in the show business. Forgive me. And uh, we're going to continue as of this. So there's a uh, new patches of precious, precious human leather getting harvested here. I'll need to undraft Anya. Prisoner suicide. 
Oh, snake. Snake. So, well. Okay, one more for the gooder. Yum. I don't care. I don't care. So, uh, recoil. Recoil is not exactly the right person to uh, do the cutlery here. So, uh, we're going to eat some. And then I have to uh, pull a night shift for Anya. Because uh, our, our sissy lily uh, recoil is not able to do the human resource processing. You know, sometimes the greenhorns are a little bit uh, nasty and annoying. Alright, gotta let her sleep now. It's enough for one day. So, I'd say we're going to build a uh, few more recreational items. That'll help alleviate the uh, wickedness of this place. So, and today I'm going to uh, put Anya to a guaranteed research schedule because I'm tired of having no floors. I mean, it's not like uh, Freeman is able to uh, get all the building jobs done in time, but um, I want to get there at some point. So, and uh, if we proceed like that, um, like the last episodes, uh, the uh, discovery of the smithing technology will become a running gag of the series, and I, <laughs> I want to act before it gets uh, this horrible. So. Why is she uh, feeding a meal to Agnes? Is that because of the doctoring? Hmm. Hard to tell. Alright. So, I'm gonna wakey wakey Anya and uh, gonna send her butchering some more. Oh, wait a sec. Um, <laughs> remember me? Saying that I remember the graves. Now I'm going to do that. So uh, we're going to bury him at least. I hope. No, 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 Anya. We're, we're going to bury that that poor sod. Okay. I feel like that's uh, the right thing to do. I still wonder how he managed to behead himself, though. That's uh, that's something I'm really, really impressed about. So, uh, all right, um, well, hauling is not exactly the job I wanted to have, ah, burying here. So recoil, here we go. Is that Moyer style? Hmm? All right, so uh, I'm going to replace the uh, meditation spot of Anya's, of course, now into this vicinity because, uh, we're having uh, the morbid meditation available, and uh, this now is uh, to be uh, removed. Thanks again for that tip. This will uh, help her to regain her psi focus a lot quicker now. And also it's so befitting to her, I'd say. Okay, so uh, Hoover is finally ready to uh, take another try on his leg. We want that left leg of yours. We want it now. No, 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 no. I want Anya on that operation. It's uh, bad enough that... Uh... So... Uh... Alright. Luckily, Freeman snapped out of the... Uh... Um, situation there. I butchered human-like. Yeah, gosh. Get over it, Recoil. Life is, uh... Life is hard. Okay, so uh, we're going to install the leg on Anya now, and she's going to be good as new. No more scars, no more pain, and we all... We, we owed it just uh, to some intense work on Hoover. Everybody can use a Hoover, if you ask me. So... There we go. Thanks, Hoover. 
So there's still plenty of things uh, in him to uh, to take, and uh, there's uh, really really valuable parts. So this guy is a valuable part of my colony. You can't uh, you can't see it differently. All right, so uh, let's I need material. I guess the medicine is wrongly configured. Yeah. So there we go. And uh, I'm pretty sure I wasted medicine on the uh, tending of his leg. Oh, well. So I hope it's going to succeed. No more pain for good old Anya. You know, she deserves. Uh, catastrophic fail. Right. We don't have that many legs. Don't have any spare legs. Damn. So, uh, and, she, and and she's even mad uh, uh, with Brit. I mean, I understand that. I consider Anya as one of those people who, who would uh, actually operate herself if it would be possible, but uh, it ain't. Dang. Good old Hoover. So. Let's put up some uh, chess table over here, made out of tin, with some nice armchairs. I got cinder silk? Mmm, sweet. All right. That's cool. With some nice iron stools. All right, there we go. Do I have enough iron for that? Yes, I do. Great. So, uh, well. It's really sad. Anya is now wounded for uh, for no real benefit, and uh, we lost the leg we harvested from uh, Hooper. Well, I gotta stop harvesting organs now, anyways, because I'm running out of uh, medicine. So I want to keep a sufficient supply of medicine on my colony to ensure that um, we're we're still able to uh, save our own people. So, and uh, recoil is on another drug binge because somebody's organs got harvested. Recoil. It's time you get over it. I think that was a really, really uh, bad choice of yours. So, Brit, um,. I don't care what happens with this man at this point. So, um, I never liked him to begin with, honestly. But, uh, well, we're going to keep him for now. But we're having, the council has an eye on you. So, well, I'm going to send Brit uh, after Anya in a moment. So Recoil is not immediately dying, but uh, Anya will regain her consciousness at some point. I don't want to lose opportunities to uh, train medicine like that, and like I thought, she's, uh, she's hardy. There we go. So, I hope you're at least happy with your catharsis now, my friend. Just noticed that Brit uh, is getting so much training today that uh, she's uh, not even taking any profit out of it anymore. Yeah, well. So, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to... Uh, tune the doctoring duty down on Anya and Freeman and uh, let Brit be the uh, main automatic uh, duty doctor for now. All right, we got the smithing technology, finally. Don't want to talk any more much longer about that. So um, apart from that, we're, uh, I'm, I want simple prosthetics, so we're going to uh, research machining and microelectronics next. Because um, to me, it 
definitely makes sense to go into these directions. Alpha 1 wasn't easy to build, but um, I understand why it is so hard to survive here. Because without uh, transhumanistic ideals and uh, set goals, it's hard. But even with those goals, it's hard if you're not getting any materials to work with, so... We're not having any uh, implants yet, so I'm going to swap here between iron, tin, iron, uh, tin, iron, tin, to uh, begin with a neat look on the uh, on the floor here. So progress is being made step after step. Armadillo is uh, well. There's not much work for her here. We can let her mine out some of that tin. And uh, we've got some machine pistol and sky steel throwing knives. That's, uh, as a matter of fact, way better as you might think. Cool. All right, so uh, we're going steady on our slow process here, but uh, at some point, we're going to have more people like Recoil, and better people like as Recoil. Um, I was pretty close today to uh, giving him the final stab, but then I reminded myself that uh, we're not having that many people as of now, and uh, I gotta tune down my temper. Even though I really gotta say I'm not happy with this uh, young man being such an insolent fool. So, uh, why is uh, Freeman working so inefficiently, though? I mean, she's first hauling the things over there, and then... I don't know. I feel like... Uh, now I tuned down the other jobs, so she shouldn't be that distracted anymore by other jobs. So, let's see. Okay. Oh, finally. Floors. Alright. That's a good... That's a change for good, finally. Okay. Quite happy to have Armadillo on my... Uh, on my prison squad here. Well. I think the major reason were the uh, big hauling problems honestly now that I, now, now that I think about it it seems to me like that hauling steel all the way over the colony was just uh, inefficient as uh, <clears throat> I don't know how to put it into correct words so armadillo has gone berserk well okay let's see what happens now We're going to uh, draft Brit and Freeman and see uh, how much fun uh, they can have with Armadillo. So, mm, there goes a nice shot from Freeman. So Brit is just uh, going to kite around here. All right, there's a. Uh, Another victim of the uh, human resources department for the human resources department. Well, oh wait, wrong order. I don't want to uh, butcher. God, I get that wrong every time. So, um, armadillo, you're uh, you're quite honored here. So they always uh, first haul them somewhere and then they bury them. Okay, whatever. So we're filling those graves finally. I, I keep think I keep it in my mind. And also, of course, uh, more lights. Dang it! How could I forget that so long? I'm going to do these uh, lights right away. Let there be light. In alpha one. So.
So we're going to make this a nicer place now. So we have some polo cord problems. What a pity. So there we go. How are you, Freeman? Well, you do this job here and then I allow you to sleep a little bit. All right. I want rice in these uh, in this basket because uh, it's my primary produce so I really like to do that yeah so it's uh, starting to be a mediocre sleeping room good old recoil is uh, starting to calm down a little bit He's still having problems with the uh, human resources processing but uh, well we have plenty of valuable materials. Anya is finally doing the research. Brit is joining too. Awesome. So few, few things like stability are starting to uh, happen in here. Nice. So I'd say recoil stays as my major uh, cooking um, person I will use the skips here for uh, material storage all right uh, that's better so I think I want to have um, a second source of light in every of the council chamber chambers now and uh, more weapon cargo pots steel baton okay I don't want the uh, brick club but uh, that baton sounds uh, really it's like something I want to have so power over there in the prisons and the new prison cells is still not done but I want to um, stay on these projects here. I mean, this is now finally a decent bedroom. We did it. So uh, apart from that, I really feel like I want to have more firepower. But uh, well, it's not that easy to achieve. I mean, at some point our enemies won't be uh, savages anymore. So let's at least um, put down some uh, spike traps here and there. Things we're able to use um, to lure our enemies into because uh, traps, steel traps are very powerful and I'm living and breathing steel over here. So we're not having any trouble in uh, getting these materials uh, into our property, so. There we go. Alrighty, friends, it's uh, already time to ring in an end for today's episode, sadly. Um, time flies when you're evil. So Alpha 1 is really making some nice progress. I mean, look at this. These rooms are starting to uh, look like um, real living rooms in a transhumanistic society. So it's uh, still a little bit... Uh, I'm, I'm still not there. We need uh, more more vibrant and uh, lively colors in here. Some stuff like brass and, uh, and copper we're going to use in the future, but it's a nice start. The beds room turned into uh, mediocre bedrooms and decent bedrooms. And uh, feel free to drop me a comment down below what's on your mind. As you might know, I love to hear from you guys. And uh, as usual, if you want to support this series, drop it a like. And if you want to support the channel and me as a content creator, leave me a subscription on the channel. It helps so much. Whatever might be the case, I wish you a wonderful time and I hope we're going to see each other for more nice gaming fun. See you guys then. Goodbye. <laughs>